Hi, my name is Bill Wechter. I'm the CEO of the Baptist Children's Hospital at North Central Baptist Hospital in the Stone Oak community. And today I have with me Dr. George Vassar. He's a urologist here in San Antonio. And we're going to talk about enlarged prostates. Who's at risk for, for enlarged prostate? So enlarged prostates is more common the older men get. So over age 50, we start to see men with symptoms of, of enlarged prostate and it gets worse beyond 60 and 70, of course. That means I'm at risk. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, well, when you have somebody, what are, are there risk factors uh, for enlarged prostate other than age? Well, age is the main one. Uh, some racial characteristics can increase your risk, but it's primarily age-related. Okay. So you identify a patient who has enlarged uh, prostate. Now, what are the symptoms of that? So I'm 55 years old, and what symptoms would I associate with enlarged prostate? So men with enlarged prostate often pre present with symptoms that are typical of urinary difficulty. That can be slow stream, urgent or frequent urination, nighttime urination. Uh, in extreme cases, men may actually become unable to urinate and have to have a catheter inserted, uh, often in your emergency room. So once you've identified a, a person with enlarged prostate, what, what's the treatment regimen? So there are a variety of options to treat enlarged prostate. This can include medications. We have a number of drugs we use that can help men urinate more freely. Many times this is all they need, but for men in whom medication is inadequate or who or for men who are not satisfied with the side effects of medication, we also have surgical treatments. There are a variety of those treatments available, including the traditional operation referred to as a TERP, also called a Roto-Rooter in, in vernacular. Um, there are some uh, minimally invasive procedures, and then most recently, which we've now brought to North Central Baptist, is the aquablation procedure. Aquablation is essentially a power wash of the inside of the prostate, removes a, a significant amount of tissue, and preserves some of the sexual function that men would otherwise risk losing. Wow. Fun fact from San Antonio Zoo. Did you know that lions can have prostate cancer? You know, I heard a rumor, but I thought you were lying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was good.